I'll just like die fighting. <laughs> you get a little sister or die trying. <laughs> Both. <laughs> I will die many times many, and get a little times. sister after for an hour. For the glory. <laughs> for God, for glory, for gold. And that's what about how is shiny and chrome. <laughs> Dude, I I don't think we talked about Mad Max. I don't think we did. I saw Mad Max like seven times in theaters. I'm proud of you. I saw Be- it maybe twice or three times. I it just became really therapeutic to watch. So if I was having a bad day, I would just be like, I'm gonna walk down the street and go watch Furiosa beat on some people. Yes. <laughs> and like drive like a maniac. <laughs> yes. It was I, just fantastic. It's really funny, Ooh. the evolution of Mad Max with me, because... Oh, freaky crap, what's this piece of shit? Um, because the first oh, time shit. I... Oh, ah! <laughs> Go on. <laughs> I think the first time I'd heard about it was maybe, like, a commercial, or just, I read something, just in a magazine, like, oh, yes, this is another movie coming out this summer, and I was like, whatever, that doesn't look interesting. And then... The a old, friend of mine yeah. had said something like, oh, yeah, I can't wait to go see Mad Max. And I was like, what's it about? He's like, it's basically Tom Hardy going on a killing spree through the desert. And I was like, that doesn't, look, that doesn't sound interesting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, wow, that's unfortunate. <laughs> and so then it came out, and it got all these great, fantastic reviews. Yeah. And I was like, what is this? So I went to see it, and I was just like, holy crap, this is amazing. I'm in love. I'm in love with it. Yeah. I loved it so much. And, like, uh, I usually have a hard time hearing about movies because I I used to really not go to theaters. Mm -hmm. Um, So I I never even knew it was coming out. But I started reading, hearing about, like, these articles that were about all these, like, men's rights activists being like, you should boycott this movie because it's supporting like, feminist in this role that, like, teaches that men are terrible. (laughs) And, like, you watch it and you're like, this is about freeing sex slaves. Yeah. What are you talking about? Also, like, in this situation, these men are actually terrible. Yeah. Like, it's not really talking about, like, yes, the average person is a terrible person. This is just like, no, look at this society in this one place. Yeah, it's it's so (laughs) clearly not like that. So when I heard, and I had some friends that were jokingly like, man, we need to go support this. It's making some dudes mad. Gotta go, (laughs) gotta go help this movie out. And I was like, I'm down. Oh, yeah. And, um, oh, good, this is a good place for this. I was wondering why this camera was down here. Um, I'll just, like... One sec. Um, yeah, and I saw it, and I wasn't, like, obsessed with it the first time I saw it, but then I went to go see it a second time, because different friends wanted to see it, and mm-hmm. then I saw it with my dad for his birthday, because mm-hmm. he likes the series, and then I just started getting really into, like, watching yeah. it if I was having a bad day. <laughs> I was I was grenade launcher. I was sufficiently intoxicated when I saw it, but like Oh yeah, <laughs> I was with you for that. That was my like fourth time. <laughs> but I was fine with that. <laughs> yeah, and I know you personally aren't a fan of the lack of dialogue. And yeah, that's like the only thing for me. Um like in general, like the effects are like nailed it. The mm. effects were so cool. I completely am so stunned at the fact that it's mostly like and that fire guitar was an actual guitar. Oh my guitar. god. Yeah, I'm so incredibly stunned by the fact that it's like mostly real effects. Um, like mostly. Uh, what's that called? What's that called? Practical. Practical, practical effects. effects. Yeah, no, they. Um, uh, apparently, um, the director was like, I want to have as many as possible. The only thing oh, was yeah. like Charlie's Theron's arm or something. Oh yeah, which that would be hard. Too. Yeah, <laughs> practically do. Where and then, we? like, the desert itself had to be CGI'd a little bit because obviously the desert they yeah. shot in does not. The, I mean, they couldn't go through yeah. a sandstorm. Yeah. <laughs> and just the, the. Totally understandable. Yeah, and just, like, the mountains in the background had to be CGI'd sometimes. But, like. Like, I that's obvious. Like, every movie has that. Like, almost. Even if you see a plain Jane. Unless it's an indie film, every movie you see in the theater has that. 
CGI work. <laughs> Extra um, buttons. <laughs> like, other than just, like, color correction and, and shit like that. Mm-hmm. Um, because even Pride and Prejudice, I was listening to the commentary, and the director was like, yeah. Pride and Prejudice. I was, I, I was listening to the commentary, and the director was like, yeah, I regret that moon that they CGI'd in. I just am not a huge fan of it. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> um, but I just, uh, I actually really like the lack of dialogue. I think it, I think it, it's a really interesting choice. I just love it. <laughs> it was great. And I feel like I, my friend Danny that I sat with, she was also like, yeah, I mean, it was a good movie, I guess. And I was just like, oh, I love this movie! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. So I was super excited to buy it on I Netflix. was disappointed because so many of my friends didn't like it nearly as much as I did. And they were like, um, I guess. I felt like all the girls were the same. And I was like, they're not the same! Yeah. <laughs> they all react very differently yeah. to their circumstances. I definitely <laughs> disagree. Like, they, they were all very, like... I thought they were all super different. Character and like, like, there is the, the girl who... She still had her chastity belt. And she was the one who wanted to go back, and she was like, "It's fine. Like we had the good life and stuff." Like she didn't understand. Yeah. And then, like, uh, who I forget, like his most prized one, like her name, but she was self harming, like on her face. Like those were all those scars that she had. Yeah. Like they're all just dealing with it totally differently. And the girl who like got the seeds, I just loved her. Yeah. No, I loved her. She was she was super snarky and was just like. She fights back against abusers and stuff, and oh, I don't yeah. know. They all just have different reactions to and the one up who the like they did. became best friends with my favorite character, Nicholas Holt, whose name I forget. Uh, what's his face? Who was using Tom Hardy's plug bag? Oh yeah, that was great. Uh, she's uh, capable. Yeah, I just I loved their friendship, and I'm just gonna call it a friendship. It was really you, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was really nice. Yeah, it was just so nice. Cause you see her and like. Maybe all the other girls would have like yeah. flipped a shit, and she was just like, "Are you all right? You know, like, yeah, stop hitting yourself." And like, I love him so much. Like, I felt like his character went through a really nice arc where he was yeah, just he, like, he "I had a hard to, time." Yeah, like he was like, "But I, but I have to get you back to the guy." And yeah. they were like, "No," because that, that like, guy's abusive for a to. lot of reasons. Because yeah. I mean, this guy grows up being brainwashed, thinking that this is the only way he can live a fulfilling life. Well, he knows he's dying, too. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, he thinks that's the only way he can have a fulfilling afterlife. Yeah, and (laughs) and he's like flipping out. Yeah. And it's just like, oh, Nicholas, old baby, come here. (laughs) (laughs) But, uh, that's just a great movie. (laughs) Yeah. I would say the one part I hated was the character with the nipple rings. Cause those just freak me out. <laughs> Wait, who? <laughs> the one? Who, oh, who was, oh, like, the people the leader. leader of Gas Town. Or yeah, sh- some he's shit. a cannibal. Yeah, they were like the people oh, leader himself. Oh god. I was like, oh god, when he was like messing with his nipple ring, I was like, oh, please eh, stop. Eh, eh. Eh. That just that Gross. grosses me out. That was the one thing that yeah, I that could was, not stand. That was, Every time that I was, was rough, movie, I was just like, Bleh. <laughs> that was rough. <laughs> That was also Whee. rough, that death. <laughs> you, like, fell off something. I don't even know. Oh, I just, like, I think I fell off. I think you fell off, like, a cliff Ooh. thing. Did you just shoot your way out of the Yeah, the, the, um, well, no, I, I opened it with X, but, um, the PS3 controllers, that's what we're playing it on, uh, it'll sometimes, the triggers will get stuck, and it really is quite unfortunate. Yeah. No, he's not gonna get no. up. Mr. Bubbles is not coming back. You need to move on. Let me take the slug out of your body. Good. You stay cute. Okay, I goodbye, know. ghost child. Okay, so now cute. it's okay. So now I can go back to Peach. Peach! But I should also try to go to a gatherer's garden now that I got so much shit. Oh no, I think the next area I'll have better things to buy. So what's this tattoo he has on his wrist? Uh, chains. Why? I don't know. I guess that's just him. Just yeah, that's just, that's just it's just thing. him being him. <laughs> <laughs> just a guy being just a dude. Being himself. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I I have an idea why it might be, but I don't want to spoil anything. Oh, okay. Cool. That's fine. Is he chained to society? His norms? I don't know. <laughs> Symbolism. <laughs> Whoop, 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 whoop. 
<laughs> the one woop, time woop, in Supernatural woop. where they literally cut open their arms constantly and they never have a single scar. <laughs> what? <laughs> so there comes a point in Supernatural where whenever they meet a new a new like person who knows that these supernatural beings exist, they have to prove that prove that they're not a demon, prove that they're not an angel, prove that they're not, not a, a leviathan, prove that they're not a ghost, and so they have to like. Pour salt, drink holy water, cut their arms open with silver. They need to just like do all this shit every time they meet a new person. Douse themselves in soap. Oh my god. Yeah, douse themselves in soap just to prove that they're like a human being. (laughs) And it's great. So yeah, like literally at least like five times an episode at one point. It's just like just like slice open their arm and just like a silver blade. The silver blade. Drink some holy water. Some salt. I don't know. I don't think they ever used salt. I think they forgot about salt after it came around. Uh, <laughs> they I think like holy, wa- holy water kind of covers soap. it. Yeah, poured some salt uh, soap over them because soap defeated Leviathan. They figured that out by accident, by the way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, yeah, but they never have a single scar, and it's kind of funny to me. Yeah, because <laughs> just like that's not realistic. That's not happening. You cut your arm just yesterday with that silver blade. That silver demon cutting blade. (laughs) You killed some demons with that blade. That's not sanitary. (laughs) You killed so many demons. You're gonna get infected. Can you please clean that? (laughs) Also, can I just... It must be dull. Like, that knife must be so dull. When you break these, you get health packs. Woo! Then you can never use them again. But I'm leaving, so that's fine. That's funny. (laughs) You see that person? Yeah. They're like, <laughs> you calm down. Yeah. Where is Peach? Arrow? Yeah, but I thought, um, oh, weird. Oh, maybe he is through here. Yeah, he is. <laughs> yeah. Knock, knock. I just like how you have like all these handsome pictures of people in the corners and it's like that's not what they look like. They're crazy. Yeah. You keep your eyes open. Yes, Mr. Scottish man. I- Irish. Whatever. Oh my goodness. How dare you? Relinquish your weapons. So why is he taking weapons? Um, I'm about to- he's like, I don't want anybody fighting me, so for both of our safety, you should let go of your shit. <laughs> but at least he had that. <laughs> Wrenches are important. Yeah. And I got an automatic head tool, so that's pretty good. Okay. I love to be the laughter. At the surface values. In fact, I like when honestly, they say it's a surface value. Honestly, surfaces are just kind of creepy, and like, no wonder it's called surface value. <laughs> Adds to the tone of the game. Also, what's on fire? Uh, the uh, do you, uh, every, huh? No, it's just like really smoky, and it's just like something's on fire. And oh everything. no, this place is supposed to be really hazy, so I'm like, oh, what's happening? Are you being drugged? Possibly. Mm. Shit. Isn't that always possible? <laughs> that just like you as the character, every time you inject things into your arm, it's just actually drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Get this guy. Cause you gotta music, hack everything. I like how the music is still happening, even though you're just I know you're hacking something. 
It's stressful though. It's like eh, eh. <laughs> This music is just like making it <laughs> so much worse. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this music is way more intense. <laughs> well, it's cuz everybody's like coming up behind me and it was all hazy and like yeah. It's all hazy. But now, um, they should be sending things for me. Yay. Oh god. Ah. <laughs> what was that? Um, something hit me from behind. Oh, rude ass. Rude ass. What? Oh, it's through here, okay. I'm so far away. Of course. <laughs> Some corpses just don't have names. We can't name every single corpse. I, I did. Ridiculous. That was They'll all be named ridiculous names, like Atlas and <laughs> Those are ridiculous names. Who names their kids? Like, Atlas kind of makes sense. I can believe in Atlas, but really, Peach? Atlas shrugged. <laughs> really, Peach? You're named after a video game princess. <laughs> <laughs> or a fruit. Either way. Or oh. a fruit. <laughs> Or both, honestly. Honestly? This game takes place in the 50s. <laughs> <laughs> what? They didn't have fruit in the 50s? <laughs> no, a very recent invention, if you must know. <laughs> you must know. Woo! Excuse me. <laughs> back in? Uh, oh, maybe. Oh, no. I thought, no, he was already dead. Did you mean to do that? Oh. I mean, it's fine. Can you still get to the place you need to get to? Yeah, yeah, no, I don't need him. Okay. Did you want to kill oh, oh, he, oh, he, he, like, arranged all of this. Sorry, I didn't, like, explain that. Oh! <laughs> no, it ended up being a trap. <laughs> so he, he like set a bunch of people after to kill me because he was wow. like, You think that I would. I thought we were friends. Yeah, I thought we were best friends. Don't trust anyone under the sea. <laughs> <laughs> if they're not a singing crustacean, you can't trust them. <laughs> No, okay, no, I think you trust Pirates Under the Sea. See, <laughs> here's the thing. Pirates Under the Sea are clearly ghosts. And then... <laughs> Probably dead. Also, if that pirate has, like, an intense fear of crocodiles, I think it's pretty easy to just, like, trick him into thinking crocodile's coming anytime you, like, feel threatened by him. <laughs> First I thought you were trying to make a reference to Archer. No, uh, I was then thinking I realized, uh, Peter Pan. Good old yeah, Peter, Peter Pan. Because, <laughs> like, Archer has an unnecessary... Unnecessary fear of crocodiles? I don't know, he makes it seem pretty necessary. <laughs> what, what was it? Croc. No, alligators and aneurysms? Something like that. Yeah, yeah, I think that's it. He was like, it hasn't changed its, its form since. Since it's like, like <laughs> evolution a bajillion years since ago. Since the prehistoric era! And why is that? Because it's the perfect killing machine! <laughs> <laughs> And why aneurysms? It could happen at any time! <laughs> <laughs> I think he's convinced several different characters on the show to be afraid of those two things. <laughs> so many dollars! Oh, what a lucky why, day! Why? You got one dollar, and you got three dollars, and you got two dollars, and you got five dollars? <laughs> so many dollars! <laughs> and hack tool! <laughs> Weird. I, thought I like the doors people. that all say Ice Princess. <laughs> At least I think they say Ice Princess. Who knows? Could be anything. So if he, if this was a trap, and he was setting all these people to kill you, 
He could have done that way more efficiently. He could have been like, look at all the weapons. Take all of this person's weapons. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Excuse, Excuse <you>. me. <laughs> oh, is that you? No, no, no. Oh, I was wondering, I was like, there are definitely extra people, and they're, like, in these ones. Yeah, is that your character? Is that- okay, found it. <laughs> no, it's- yeah, it's other enemies. I was gonna say, like, where are the other people? Because I- I wouldn't think that's your character. Their character seems pretty- Pretty, pretty good. Okay. Pretty okay with pretty burning. Pretty mm -hmm. His hand is on fire, so you sure Ooh! So why doesn't everyone else just ruin their genetic makeup? I don't know, but they should do that next time. <laughs> <laughs> next time. Next time. Bye. Bye.